guys or something. I don't know. All I know is that Gabriel's committed so many felonies in the case, in the course of the investigation that... Yeah, it's kind of hard to justify everything that he's done. But again, this is a Sierra game. You're supposed to take everything that's not nailed down, as long as you're not caught. So let's disguise ourselves. Alright, but this is private. Yes? Who is it? Gabriel does an... well, it's Tim Curry. Does another accent imitation. It's Father McLaughlin to see you. Well, Father, you should be ashamed of yourself being so ill-groomed. I'm sure the bishop would never approve. You can just go get a haircut before you come calling on me again. I know my duty, Father. But a priest seeking contributions should take pains to represent the church with respect. I still couldn't get in. She said that Gabriel's hair is messed up. Phew, it's human. I wish you would. <sighs> and. I think some, at some point, Gabriel had said that no one was to ever touch his locks. <laughs> I, that's right. We were reading the advertisements in Tulane University. Well, let's head into Gabriel's uh, back room. Maybe there's some sort of hair product that I can use that uh, can help out in the situation. The medicine cabinet contains a few old prescriptions, personal hygiene stuff, and lots of hair products. Including some hair gel. Hair gel? Hair gel seems nice. The medicine. What if we take the hair gel and use it to gel up Gabriel's hair? He can make believe that it's, he's very well groomed, right? He's at least he won't look as scruffy as he does now. I'll take this hair gel. You never know when you'll need a touch up. Okay, let's head back to Casanoo's. I'll be back later. Good luck! Actually, before we head over to Kazanoo's, I want to head back to Lake Pontchartrain to do something. There's something there that seems a little bit odd. It's just that next to the lake, there's... The banks of Lake Pontchartrain are rich with clay deposits. Yeah. Well, as an old Sierra rule, we grab everything that's not nailed down. Now, I'm not sure what exactly these clay deposits are good for, but let's see if we can grab some. Hmm. Is that clay? Yuck. This is very important. We'll need this when we talk to Kazanu. And I'll show you why. Let's head over there and dress the part. First, priest collar. All right. Second, hair gel. The things I do for my art. It's Father Gabriel. Yes? Who is it? It's Father McLaughlin to see you. I see you've taken my advice, Father. I didn't mean to be harsh, but the church is the church. Well, when you're right, you're right. Exactly. Come in, Father. We got in! Yay! Please be seated, Father. Thank you. Now, what can I do for you? The painting behind the couch is a Madonna and child. Madame seems to like candles. Gabriel wonders if these two are specialties of Mr. Wapper's shop. It's a painting of a pretty young lady in old-fashioned clothes. Madame, in younger days? <laughs> Good heavens, no father. 
It's so nice of you to invite me in. Ah, but no, Mope. I am always happy to see one of the good fathers. Do you find the weather to your liking? It's terribly humid. I only go out in the morning and evening. Have you been attending Mass regularly, my child? Oh, yes, father. I attend Mass every morning. Many don't these days, you know. You are dedicated, madame. It's so nice if- ah. Well, let's cut to the heart of it. Start interrogating now. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions, my child? Of course not, mon père. What can you tell me about voodoo? Ah, people think I'm just a foolish old woman. But I know the things they do. My family's been in New Orleans since 1750. So I know more than most. Voodoo people are all over this city. In the shops. Everywhere. They'll curse you like that. And most people don't even notice. Spit on your bread at the bakery. Take strands of your hair at the store when you try on the clothes. You have to be so careful. But I know their ways, so I can protect myself. I know how to use the magic too. And I can counteract their evil spells. Tell me more about voodoo in New Orleans. It's just plain evil. It's dangerous to even discuss it. What do you know about the voodoo murders? Voodoo murders? Ha! They are nothing new to me, father. They happen all the time. I hardly go out anymore. It's too dangerous in the streets. They can get you anywhere, you know. Even here in this room. But I try not to let them know about me. That's the best way. That sounds a bit paranoid, but... Going on for a long time? What do you know about the voodoo? Shh. They'll hear you. What can you tell me about New Orleans? The only true New Orleanians are of French origin, you know. My family were among the original settlers of New Orleans. They came here from France. The Creole society used to be so gay in New Orleans. Now it barely hangs on by its fingernails. What can you tell me? You know, I can stroll the streets of the French Quarter and see in my mind's eye the way it used to be. It was wonderful in the old days. What can you tell me? New Orleans isn't what it used to be, I can tell you. There's too few of the real people left. What can you New Orleans... Do you know anything about snakes? Snakes? They're evil creatures. Did you know that evil people can send them into your dreams? They can. That's why I never sleep. What? Right. Thanks. Never sleep? Do you know anything about snakes? It would be bad luck to talk about that anymore. What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? St. John's Eve? May we? I used to love the St. John's Eve Mass at St. Louis Cathedral. Of course, it is also a night of great wickedness, worse than All Hallows' Eve. They will corrupt anything for them. They? They who? Oh, you know. No? Huh. What can you tell? I don't think I should. Do you know anything about Marie Laveau? Oh, her? I could tell you about her. Voodoo Queen. Ah! My great-grandmother was an acolyte of Marie Laveau. She knew the truth about her. The truth? Well, Dr. John seems so convinced that she's, you know, real queen. But Moonbeam seemed to think the same thing. Tell me more about Marie Laveau. No, no, I won't say anything more. Not to you, father. I'm sure you mean well, but you are an outsider.